Hello, I've um, uh, uh, been in <laughs> a brilliant start. I've been meaning to do a video for a while now, and uh, I looked at the last time I've done one, and it's nine days now. Shocking. Uh, if you if you sort of get into a period of sort of a, sort of a slight period of inactivity, it sort of um, it, the time goes really quickly, and, and it's sort of um, it's easy to easy not to do one and realise that the time's gone, and you know you forget do other things. But I'm not it's, it's not intentional. I haven't been slacking off intentionally. It's just uh, the time's gone whoosh, like that. Um, so you're getting old. It's, uh, you know, everyone knows that time time moves more quickly when time moves more quickly when you get older. Because I think this is how it works. It's because um, uh, every everything you do is part of a routine. Uh, you know, as something develops into part of your daily routine, you sort of switch it off in the. In, in your head and so it becomes automatic and so your mind doesn't register it and so you almost lose that point in time when you're doing something which part of your routine. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. That's just a sort of theory, that's not certainly my theory, I think it's a theory I've, I've inherited from somewhere. But everybody knows that, that summers and days last used to last years or you know not actually years but a long time when you were a little kid so nowadays uh, you know like I said time goes really quickly I, I'm sorry I think I've just poked myself in the eye I'm really sore I hope it's not bloodshot it is bloodshot that's my excuse I've been tagged by um, Ben over on um, Coast of Crazy 10 Gaming um, he decided to do his own tag, and it's a tag I'd like to do because um, because he did actually tag me this time, and it's a tag I'd like to do because um, it, it offers you a, um, an opportunity to talk about something other than gaming, because we, we all have things we like other than gaming, don't we? And now I, I, when I first started my channel, I initially decided it was going to be sort of a bit of everything, but it's just it's just become almost exclusively a gaming channel, but that, that's just me slacking off really. But now I've got an excuse to talk about other things. Um, basically the tag is that you, you talk about what you're playing game-wise and um, what you're looking forward to. I think it's called the favourites tag and he's going to do a regular one. Um, you talk about what you've been playing and also what you're looking forward to in the future. But then also the second part of the tag you talk about something other than gaming that you've been doing. Um, something that enjoy, something, some alternative part of your life that's not gaming, but all, and, and then also something you, you you're looking forward to. I think, I think, yeah. But um, I'm I've got my games here, little pile. I hope you haven't seen that. Um, what I've been playing, what I've been playing, I seem to be <laughs> playing the same games over and over again. I've been playing. This is the, the major part of my life at the moment. We go in two. This gets regular play from me. Um, I uh, I bought number one a few like about a month ago. Actually, I have actually sent it back and got my money back. But sort of having bought that just sort of sparked my interest, re-sparked my interest in this again. I thought well, I've not played it in a while, and I'll get back to it. And I'm, I'm about seventy-five hours through, and. Um, I've got all 180 stars, which I've never done before, and it's an achievement for me. Um, I think most of my characters are at least level 47. There's other things I haven't. I've, I'm not a completist in the other sense; just the characters I like. Cause then you get to see the you get to see the best the best endings. But um, yeah, uh, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, this is this is what, what I've been this is what I've been playing recently. Um, sorry about this. What am I thinking? <laughs> what a what a shambolic video for the first one I've done in nine days, ten days. 
This is what I've been playing. Sweet Coding 2. I'm, I've got all 108 characters. I'm quite near the game, only 75 hours through though, so I could easily do another 25, I think. Done quite a lot of grinding in, in that actually. But um, I, I'm, I think I might do an actual gameplay video about why I love this game. I think I might feature some of the mini games because they sort of add to it. And um, it's just uh, it's just all encompassing. I can lose myself in sort of in this game for hours on end. I mean, they've literally thought of everything, every every tiny little detail that is sort of featured in this game, which sort of makes it makes it what it is. And I think it's what makes it what it's got the fan base that it's got. But that's what I've been playing. That's the major game that I've been playing recently. I'll put it there. Um, as an antidote to the, the hours and hours of grinding, I've, uh, I've been playing this. And I've been improving. I'm, I am improving in this. It, it's sort of a gradual thing. I, I'm noticing improvements, which is quite, I'm quite optimistic about, actually. Um, it's... Yeah, Raiden 3. It's, um, as I've said in the past, it's almost like a quintessential faceless shooter. It's slightly more mechanical than other shooters. Um, you have a red, sort of triangular shaped ship. You know, not, it's not so creative in that sense, but it's pretty much by the book. But um, it's incredibly satisfying. I've noticed that you, you can build up quite a quite a rhythm playing it, which makes it really satisfying. And then the, the tiny little details, like the sort of the pop of the explosions and the sound effects, add to this really, really satisfying gameplay experience. And I've, I've bought the um, Raiden project not long back, which is Raiden 1 and 2. And you can see the progression up to this point, because they've got that same sort of rhythmic gameplay with a the attention to detail in, in corp in, uh, encompassing everything from um, uh, sound effects through to you know sort of graphical little graphical um, details. But that's my that's my sort of antidote to Sweet Code and two and sort of hour upon hour of level grinding. And also, which will perpetually be I'll be playing is um, the, the Orange Box. I've played through Half-Life 2, and I've played through Episode 1, I'm now on Episode 2, there are the new um, enemies in Episode 2, called Hunters, and um, I fucking hate them, they're like, they're like Combine have invented um, their own version of an antlion queen, and they always come in twos, and they're bitches, and um, when you, if you survive one, you've always got like a sort of a minute amount of health and no ammo left. Oh, Why? That happens when I fight. Don't, don't know other people, but that's me. Um, now I've got to this point where I'm. I've made my way back to um, the rebel complex, and it's been it's been infiltrated by by a few of these hunters and the rest of the Combine, and they're going around murdering my dudes, my fellow rebels, so I have to um, go out and, you know, sort it, sort it out. And I've just been getting my arse, arse slapped. But, yeah, that's what, that's what I've been playing. What am I looking forward to? But I've thought about this, and to be honest, I'm way out of the loop. I, I've realised, having, having to do this tag, I've realised I don't really look forward to things so much. I think, in, in in one sense, that's quite a healthy thing because you don't get caught up in the hype. I'm not caught up in the DS, the 3DS hype, or the or the uh, PSP2 hype, or whatever it's called, uh, or oh game hype, specifically game hype, because I mean, I could have done in the past, and um, that's when you it's when you make mistake. You know, um, people make mistakes. You end, might end up with a, sort of an engage on your hands or a, a Mark One 360. So I'm getting the sun shining right in my eyes, and I mean, if you, I mean, um, an engage was almost obsolete as soon as it came out, wasn't it? And that's one of the things I sort of I'm guarded against is sort of the inbuilt obsolescence of technology these days. I mean, 
you can buy something and it's almost obsolete instantaneously because you know it will be you know it'll be superseded by something just sort of a few months down the line. I mean look at the, the iPad. The iPad's been out less than a year, hasn't it? And the iPad 2 is already out. I think the, the iPad's a ridiculous idea anyway because the, the fact that you have to hold it in one hand is a design fault. It's it's major. It's a design fault, isn't it? It's ridiculous. I don't understand. You should turn into a <laughs> turn into a moan, not even a rant, just a moan. Um, so yeah, so I don't really look forward to things. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm out of the loop. I don't know what's I don't know what's being released. I just sort of see things in the shops. I get I, I hear sort of a. A, s a small amount of um, chatter on the sort of the airwaves, and eventually, um, you know, uh, things uh, appear in the shops, and I notice them. So I'm, it, which doesn't afford me the sort of like the ability to look forward to things. Um, one, th I have, I did like the Dead Island trailer though. I'll, I'll give you that. I did like the Dead Island trailer, but then again, it's just a trailer. It's just a piece of uh, CGI, isn't it? So that could be anything. It could be. It could be an absolute pile of. It could be a stinker, couldn't it? But actually, one thing I am. I'll tell you, one am thing I am looking forward to is Radiant Silver Gun on Xbox Live Arcade. Although, to be able to enjoy that, I will need to get an Xbox Live account first. There you go. That's the first part of my tag. Already over eleven minutes. Um, the second part of the tag is about what you've been, what you've been watching, or what you something other than gaming. And I've been watching. I, I watch a lot of telly, probably too much. And something I'm, I, I'm re-watching because it's, they're a bit repeating it on, on um, the telly at the moment on um, terrestrial on Freeview actually. Is Breaking Bad the second series, and it's absolutely phenomenal. And I wish. I'll use this as an opportunity to, to, to get all preachy about this, this programme. It's called Breaking Bad. It's, it's, it's just flawless. I could, I could wax lyrical about this, this um, programme for hours. It's about... Um, I'm sorry, I've not actually got, uh, got it on DVD or anything. I've only just been watching it on telly. Uh, it's about um, this, uh, this guy called Wal uh, Walter White, who's a teacher. He's a chemist. First and foremost, he's a chemist, but then he's a chemistry teacher, and he's he's blatantly uh, a genius. But he he and he's enthusiastic about subject, and he wants to um, he wants to infuse his pupils with this same passion that he has. But they they don't really they don't really get it. Not, no one's enthusiastic about chemistry as he is. And one day he um, he discovers that he's got terminal cancer. Uh, lung cancer, but he doesn't smoke, which is one of the sort of, you know the uh, one of the um, sort of idiosyncrasies of the, of the program. It has little details like that, and so obviously he he's going to die, but he's got um he's got a, a family and he's got a baby on the way, and he, his his brother-in-law is um, a DEA agent, and he asks him one day if he wants to go on a ride along, and initially he says no. And he discovers he's got cancer, and he decides he's going to sort of take these opportunities to do things he's never done before. So he uh, goes on this ride along, and he's sitting in the back of this car, and, and uh, all, all these DA, DA agents are sort of busting in through this front door of his house. And um, so sort of all of a sudden, sort of an up, upstairs window opens, and this guy is just pulling up his jeans, and he comes rolling out, rolling out the window, and down the down the little roof, and he falls off, and then he sort of stands up and there's this sort of double take moment where they notice each other looking at they're looking at each other and the teacher the main character played by the dad in Malcolm in the Middle Brian Cranston and his acting is superb um, they notice each other and he recognizes this kid as his next as his next pupil and then then sort of the kid runs off down the road so this kid has gone from being one of his pupils to um, uh, working in a crack den, uh, manufacturing crack or amphetamines or uh, what is it? I always forget what, what it is they actually make. But um, so then, 
yeah, he's, he, he's sort of got this revelation that this kid that he used to, he used to teach is um, works as a sort of manufacturing these sort of drugs. But then he um, he goes to, afterwards. He goes to track this kid down, and because he realizes because he's dying and he needs to earn as much money as possible, he's going to use what he knows, which is chemistry, combining with what this kid knows. And he, he proposes that they go into business together and, and start this crack then, cooking the, the best crack you, that there's ever been, because he he can um, he can sort of refine the process and he knows the sort of he knows the chemistry inside out, so he can uh, he can get it to this sort of perfect refinement. And that's basically the premise of the story. It's these two naive people who jumped head first or feet first into this dark dark world. But everything is just flawless. It you have to. There are certain er, sort of um, sort of. It creates a really really incredible visual picture. There's certain there's certain points in the in certain episodes where you're just shocked. But you have to you have to watch the rest of the series to sort of, to get it. And um, there's one the one tip if you watch it. Um, wait until the, the character, the episode of the character called El Tortuga in, in uh, series two. Just watch out, watch out for that episode, and it's absolutely, <laughs> absolutely phenomenal. So it's Breaking Bad. Go out and watch it. Uh, it's, I think they should be showing the, the third series anytime soon. I think the third series is actually on DVD at the moment. Series one and two are on DVD, but third series hopefully one day. It should be shown on uh, Freeview or Terrestrial. Fingers crossed. Something I'm looking forward to is Walking Dead. Not having Sky and refusing to have Sky because I think um, Rupert Murdoch is a megalomane, megalomaniacal, megalomaniacal. Is that yeah? It's a megalomaniac and an absolute scumbag, and I would never give him any of my money. The closest I would go to giving him my money is buying a pint down the pub where they're showing Sky to watch, you know, going to the pub to watch a full match where they're showing Sky. Other than that, there's no way I'll give him, give him any of my money. So, which means I've been, I've been missing out on lots of really good television and um, The Walking Dead is one of them and that's coming to Channel 5 and everybody's seen it says it's brilliant and I think it's if if any if any sort of televisual format or visual format is crying out for a zombie, um, sort of the zombie treatment, it's sort of proper sort of serial drama, or even I think maybe even it could support um, a soap opera. That would be quite interesting, a soap opera about zombies. But The Walking Dead, it's just a matter of time, and they've gone and done it, and everybody watches it and says it's brilliant, and I'm, that's what I'm looking forward to. Coming out on Channel Five very soon. For people in the UK, we haven't already seen that sky. Um, cool. Music. Um, I'll show you what I've, I'm just going to show you what I've been listening to at the moment. Just uh, Nick Cave and the Bad Seas. Dig Lazarus Dig. Nick Cave, Australian. He's just basically like a troubadour, <laughs> a dirty, dirty, dirty troubadour. He's got a band full of old tramps, bums, but which which sort of creates this. It's it's a sort of brilliant sort of sense of dread and it's, it, it feels like his band are a band of real people and they're not actually sort of um, trying to create his image. Um, this is an incredible um, album. It's amazing. I, I I urge anyone to go out and try this. It's basically sort of like blues, blues rock. Um, He's basically a troubadour. All of his songs tell stories. They're, um, my, one of my personal favourites is More News From Nowhere. And it's one of the dirtiest, <laughs> dirtiest set of lyrics. And it creates this picture of this man and this woman and this, this man who... This, uh, there's, one, there's one line, my favourite line. It, it goes, um, I spent 20 years pining for my... Uh, twenty years, no, but twenty years between her legs, pining for my wife. I think. 
Oh, the sorry, it, it escapes me. I'm really shit with lyrics, but um, it's sort of guitar. It's scratching. It's a distortion and stuff, but it's got a really nice sort of groove to it. It's he's got a good good ear for melody, but it's got these really sort of fat, scratchy guitars and sort of heavy bass lines. Um, and he's one for distortion. It's basically old man blues rock, if that, you know, if that creates, <laughs> creates a, um, creates a, a good image. And another one, probably my favourite band at the moment, it's something I mentioned in my last, in my last tag that I did. This is um, Sounds of Silver, yep. Yeah. Sounds of Silver, I always forget the name of this album. It's Sounds of Silver by LCD Sound System. And I think this, they've got one more album, I've got two albums. But one of them, this is the only one I've got a hard copy of, I've got one on my iPod, which I hate. I'd love to have a um, hard copy of it. I hate having just things that are download. And this this is just, it's it's basically layers of bleeps and rhythms and um, squelches. It's electro-funk with just an excellent sound for melody. And... Um, and beats and layers and layers and layers of literally everything and again it, uh, an amazing lyricist like Nick Cave, an amazing lyricist um, I, Jack, oh, what's his name, what's his name LCD Sound System, it's basically this one guy's band, I've forgotten his name apologies for that, James something, James Murphy, that was it, James Murphy uh, if, if um, you remember, people in the UK remember the, the, the advertising campaign for GTA 4. There was a song where the main character, Nico, is walking through the streets to this sort of soundtrack. And it is, I think it's Us V Them. I don't think you'll see that. Us V Them. If you can remember that song to that advert for GTA 4. But another, probably my favourite album ever. It's a tour de force, and I urge you to check out um, the video to a song called, it's in the second album, the one I've only got on my iPod, called um, Drunk Girls. I've got it in my favourites, but I'll put, put a link below. It's, it's a, a thing of genius, it's a thing of beauty, this video. It's, a, it's a, You have to see it to believe it. Um, and also TV on the radio, also, they sort of defy description slightly more. But, all of, actually I'm looking at all of, my, all of my music tastes, they're all bands, sort of old people. I'm not into, I'm not into music by young whippersnappers. <laughs> it's just naturally how it happens. But TV on the radio are a band of old dudes, not old old, but I think they're older than me. I'm coming up to 34, even though I don't look it. Um, sometimes. Um, yeah, TV on the radio, I think they're around about my age. And they're just, they defy sort of categor categorisation. They have that sort of electro, sort of alternative, but it's sort of guitar based but with electro music over the top, you know, samples and just um, just ineffably cool. It's just effortless. There's not much you can say. Um, they they had one of their songs, um, Gold oh, was again, Golden Years. No, Coming Home, Golden Years. Coming Home in the, uh, the trailer to the second series of Skins, if anyone really remembers that. And an honourable mention to a new band I've just, I've just discovered called Warpaint. I'm going to put, I've been looking at their stuff on YouTube, all their videos, and I'm going to put, um, put a link to some of their songs in the description box below. They're a lady band, a band of ladies. And again, just effort, effortlessly, effortlessly cool. There's a, there's a, there's a a live session they've done where they look a bit, they look like they all need a wash, but, <laughs> but that makes that makes it all the more all the more appealing in my book. I'm not, I am going to tag people, but I've not actually got anything. I just realised I've not actually got anyone's names um, prepared. 
but which is probably a bad thing after the last time's just paltry effort. That was shocking. I tagged all those people, and I think I've had one response. Get your asses in gear, people. Next time, if I don't get a better response this time, next time I'm going to pick you out. I'm going to make you bastards do it. <laughs> it's not difficult. It's not difficult. Just do it. Personally, I love doing them because I, I do tend to struggle for content in my you know videos. But. 25, 25, 25 minutes. Yeah. Um, I've got another tag video to do. Blue, um, bedtime one for three to me again. Another one of these brilliant tags. So, um, no, we, that'll be coming up. I've got, I'm going to do some gameplay videos. Like I said, I'm going to do a gameplay video of Sui Coden about why I love it. I might do what I'm playing gameplay videos. But no pickups. I'm skin to skint. Actually, I'm waiting for another copy of Sweet Coden. Sweet Coden. Until that time, I'm not buying anything else. <coughs> Blah on me. There's a lot of people been burping on screen recently. I think I saw the stick. Did it. Bad, bad habit. All right, thanks for watching. I hope it wasn't too lengthy, or is too lengthy, but I apologise for that. Thanks for watching, and um, come back very soon. See you later.